My lab at UCD is called PEA, Programme for Experimental Atmospheres and Climates, and I, it's been very successful in terms of research output. So an experiment that we have just finished, a really long-term experiment that we ran for a year, we were trying to understand an extinction event which happened 200 million years ago at the boundary of the Triassic and Jurassic period. What we have to do is, is simulate um, the atmospheric composition and climates of the past using controlled environment chambers like Convirons. We reconstruct the hypothesized atmosphere and climate from important periods in Earth history and then we try and understand how morphology and anatomy and also physiology responds to those highly controlled environmental conditions. So currently I have two big projects, um, they're both five-year projects. We have one looking at the evolution of agriculture, where we are growing ancient varieties of our current major crop plants, and we're looking at the interaction between carbon dioxide and cold temperature tolerance. And the plan for that experiment is trying to understand is there some untapped genetic potential and how they interact with CO2 and cold temperature that we may be able to improve future crops. Another colleague is working on how carbon dioxide influences the relationship between a pathogen and wheat. And she's looking at multiple generations to see are those relationships inherited. An experiment that we're running at the moment is we're growing many different evolutionary groups of plants, particularly ancient plants, and we're trying to understand whether changes in oxygen composition have influenced some of the major transitions in plant evolution in Earth history. Many researchers have worked with elevated carbon dioxide, but nobody to our knowledge had worked with controlling atmospheric oxygen and atmospheric sulfur dioxide concentration in such a large volume of space. The lab has been a big success in terms of research outputs, but it's also been a big success in terms of the technical abilities we have with all of the equipment. So I'd already developed a good relationship with Conviron. As a company, they were completely open to reconstructing the atmospheric composition from the geological past. What I perceived as a huge challenge and that wasn't going to be possible, they seemed to be able to meet that challenge. We now have this really fantastic lab where we can control all of these atmospheric gases with all of the other st standard climate, photoperiod, light environments that you would get in a, a, any standard chamber.